Well, I heard this turkey gobbling down in here somewhere. And I knew this pond was in here back behind me. And uh, I figured I'd come down here and set up around it. I've seen turkeys down here before. I got down here and these mules was down here and they never would leave. I set up anyway and called a little bit. Finally, one of the mules farted. And I'm telling you, I was not impressed. I have always heard, but uh, it's undoubtedly not true. I'd give him about an eight if he'd have been a third grader, but uh, a mule, he could have done better than that. But anyway, I'm gonna get out of here. Ground's real hard, my blind not setting up good. Ground's really hard. I may do some blindless setups and, uh, and kind of free free roll a little bit and try to figure out what these turkeys are doing the first day. I don't really know. Every year they do something different on this place. So uh, I've already seen some. I guess I should have went after them first while I knew where they were at. But I'm going to ease back up direction where they were. You know, they weren't strutting or anything. Looked like they were just hanging out, maybe two-year-olds or something. Anyway, we're going to get after them. Kind of snuck up on me. I'm blind, listen, he saw me. Well, it was kind of a mess up. He was coming for the decoy, but he just saw me. Well, gobbler on the ground decoy might work pretty good. I sure had him coming in. I shot way right. I don't know what happened. I had a decent shot. I just didn't pick a spot. Yeah, that really wasn't that bad for the second setup. Got, I got a quality shot. I just I pulled it right. I almost felt like my limb hit the ground. I'm kind of sitting low. I was downhill. I don't know what happened. But anyway, got one miss on the board. And I brought my blind back in here where I missed that one earlier. I just made a call. I'm about halfway set up. I just made a call and they gobble right out front. Gotta get the camera up. Get everything set. I got some responding out front. I think they've closed a little bit.
he was coming right for the decoys. And I moved the camera just in a smear. Out a glint of sun, sunlight, sun's coming in from the front, which I can't help it. This is, I just set up this only way to do it. And uh, it'd be better in the morning time. Have the sun behind me. But anyway, that's the way it goes when you're running a camera. Everything's got to be perfect. Several turkeys roosted right up in these trees up along this hill up there, right past these cedar trees. You know, they're gobbling this evening. I got them roosted. They'll just scatter. They'll just scatter in every direction in the morning. All right, I kind of overslept this morning. I was wanting to get down in here in this dry pond bed where they strutted yesterday evening, but I think those same turkeys came right through here. So uh, one group should come through here. I got Aaron, he come around from where I normally come in, up top, up there. And, and they rolling down there. And I told him to just kind of hunt that side and then go on down in there later on, I'm gonna peel back. After I get done with this hunt, close to the roost, I'm gonna peel back up there by the house where I was yesterday. But uh, <clears throat> I was wanting to get down in that dry, dry pond bed in you know, a way for daylight. And I don't know what happened on my alarm, I overslept. But anyway, this is a good place. Came in here and got set up just a while ago. And they're gobbling right off, right off down in there by that pond. You can't really see it from here. I couldn't get that close because I, it was too much daylight when I got here. But uh, I'm fixing to start working, to get in there and working the calls a little bit and maybe draw some back here. I can't say for sure what happened uh, with the gobblers, whether they just about saw a hen and went to her, but when they came right out, out right out there, they, they just kind of went around me. You know, I'm not in the best spot, or, otherwise there'd been a bunch more turkeys come through, but anyway, two hens came by, they acted halfway right, but the gobblers, they just kind of skirted around. Got three out in this field. They didn't act like they wanted to come, but I got this one that turned Looks like he's coming. Well, an early morning roost hunt, it didn't quite work out. The gobblers kind of skirted me, you know, and it started raining. 
me and Aaron just kind of took it easy and rode around and looked at the place and uh, saw some gobblers here, there, and yonder. You know, <clears throat> finally quit going just gobble. It finally quit raining and now they started back gobbling. Aaron's up there shooting his recurve and I'm down here in the stand, a uh, site we call Daddy Stand. He killed, uh, last time he was up here, he killed right here. He loves this spot, it's a great spot. And I got one goblin right out there. All right, kinda wanna give everybody an update what's going on over here in Nebraska. I had that morning hunt this morning, didn't go well, and I had a middle of the day hunt that nothing came in, you know, finally early afternoon. Me and Aaron, I'm up here with my friend Aaron in a, from Texas, you know, we saw some out in the field, you know, they were next to a little row of cedars, made a little slip up in them cedars. They kind of caught a little movement, was looking. I popped the fan up, showed them the fan, they started coming a little closer. You know, had one little hole to shoot through, you know, one turkey was standing right in it. When I drew my bow, he came out. So I thought they were gone, but it was another one behind and he was walking through the hole and I cut it loose, hit him right in the, really where his tail feathers join his body. Well, it caught one thigh on the way in, just barely cut it. Aaron chased him down, he didn't go nowhere, bled like a stuck hog. I mean, he wouldn't he wouldn't go in that far. Bleeding good, left gut strung up all over everything. But anyway, that, that back gut shot is, is wicked now. But uh, I'm back in here on the roost. I got two more tags I can feel. I got my compound. Really wanting to kill my recurve. These birds are so blind shy though, so uh, my recurve's a little bigger blind. I got it set up. It got rained on today, so I left it set up where it could dry out this evening. You know, might could use it tomorrow sometime. But I got this compound blind. I got my compound bow, and these birds are just really blind shy up here. Just really, they always have been, and I don't know whether it's just something natural. I haven't, or I don't know whether they deer hunt out of blinds a lot, and the turkeys see a lot of that. I have. I have no idea, but I have got my blind forever more brushed in right here. And I'm, I'm set up right where I hunted yesterday evening. Uh, well, actually yesterday evening I was up on the field and I heard one strutting down in this dry pond. Let me show you what I got back here. You know, this is a pond that's dried up. and He was just strutting all out in here. I could hear his wings dragging. And uh, the roost is right up here. I'm gonna have to ease out of here after dark, you know, cause they're gonna roost right behind me, I think. But uh, I'm looking for some turkeys maybe to come up this hill over here and maybe come down this drain right here and I feed into this into this area right here. I know yesterday some came through. There was a coyote out there running around. You know, I got my decoys out there. I got two of the Cherokee sports feeding hens. They got a little movement to them like they're feeding on this little grass here. And we'll let me climb in this blind, get settled in, and I'll uh, start throwing some calls out there and maybe something will come investigate. But uh, uh <clears throat> one I killed, I didn't get him on video. And uh, it, it's a little perturbed there. I, you know, I kind of really take this video in serious, but you know, when you're hunting with somebody and that peer pressure gets to him, he's like, shoot him, shoot him, you know. It, you know, just, he wasn't saying that, but I could feel it, you know. Uh, I thought I could anyway, <laughs> so I shot him. Not on video, you know. A little perturbed about that, but uh, he was a good turkey. Nice, double beard, inch and a quarter spurs, you know, everything you want in a turkey. You know, blindless, kind of a stalk type deal little different than normal and a uh, little less conducive to videoing when you are uh, when you video and kind of by yourself and uh but anyway that's uh that's that i reckon i could have got aaron to run the camera but you know with two people the turkey would have probably seen us but anyway i'm fixing to climb in the blind
I guess it was kind of a uneventful sit uh, when it comes to long beards. Had three jakes. They didn't really come into the decoys, but they came by. I could have shot them. Had two hens really come into the decoys. That really had me pumped up. I figured, I figured I'd have a, guy, a Tom come in. That one Tom came and he wouldn't leave that one hen he was with. He went right by. So uh, I'm fixing to have to wait a little bit and let it get a little darker. I got turkeys roosted right behind me. Try to ease them out of here. 